Who would ever have thought a subway sign could signal revolutionary hope? But the week after this one opened on the reservation, an older woman came in and... Literally was crying. She said, I haven't eaten a cucumber in, in years because they're so expensive. You know, Sheena Banks, a Lakota, store. helps manage the store. So to be able to come and order green peppers, bell peppers, all the vegetables that normally cost a lot of money in the grocery stores here. She said a lot of people applied for work here. We have an employee uh, who worked here for 12 months. And she lost over 125 pounds. She was our Jared. When I started working here, I weighed my heaviest at 356 pounds. Her name is Mallory Iron Moccasin. Um, now I weigh 177 pounds. It's a health catastrophe at Pine Ridge. One half the adult population is diabetic. The average life expectancy, just 58 for men, 66 for women, the lowest in the nation. They are dying here almost 20 years earlier than the rest of us. So how did this happen in just three generations to a tribe once like this? The folks on the Pine Ridge Reservation are, what, 120 years away from being real hunters and gatherers. So carbohydrates are new to them. And like the number one product is fry bread. Well, fry bread is what you can make out of commodity foods. Water, flour, oil, and baking soda, fried in oil. Mark Tilson is a pioneering businessman on the reservation who says the commodities boxes from the federal government are filled with starch. Mixed potato mix. Commodities are the food promised by the U.S. government after the U.S. seized 7.3 million acres of Lakota land, violating a treaty and annihilating their lifeline, slaying 60 million buffalo in just 50 years. High in protein, low in calorie. It's what we ate when our, our people were healthy. Carlene Hunter is Mark Tilson's partner, and they have recreated an ancient food out of lean buffalo meat and cranberries, kind of like beef jerky with berries. It's called a tonka bar, and today they're sold in 4,000 stores across America, including Whole Foods, even cited as a top nutrition bar. This is all new for us. Business ownership is new. We've had you know, the government hand us food, hand us this, hand us, hand us the necessities. Jason Braveheart, that former Marine, life. says government welfare checks and handouts, but no possibility of work, have taken their toll on the Indian spirit. Just the dependence, you know? The, a society that was made dependent. Why go to school if, you know, in a place where, you know, having babies is, is gonna help you get money. Again, Heather Thompson. The Lakota had the Black Hills and we had the Missouri River and that was violated and so now you have for example Oglala which been stuck on the Badlands which has very little, very few natural resources and so what essentially the federal government has done is tied our hands behind our back and then thrown us in the water and so you have one or two options. You hold our head up or you untie the rope. But is it the federal government's fault? that there are no businesses on the reservations? The or federal government created the system purposefully that is in place right now that makes it so confusing and nearly impossible to do business on the reservation. People don't realize we're more regulated than a nuclear power plant. I mean, we have red tape coming out of our ears. We had no role models of you know, we didn't have a Warren Buffett. We didn't have a Stephen Jobs. We didn't have an Oprah Winfrey in our community. There is dysfunction that exists on the reservation, but there's also brilliance. It would be nice to get a bank on the reservation so I could work as an accountant there. My goal is to finish school and come back and be Dr. Lawrence. It would be amazing to see laundromats, car washes, a place to go, you know, deliver pizza to watch a movie, to go um, shop for a bike, taking ownership and, and saying, this is, this is Native American, this is where it comes from. So many people say, why don't you leave? It's the question over and over again. It's isolated, it's difficult land. It's your country, it's your nation. You know, it's the same thing as saying, you know, America's in a recession, why don't you get out of here? It's where you're from, it's who you are. Where would you go? To the top.